Hello, YouTube land, and welcome to Crypto Mama Mia, formerly known as the Middle Age Mom Does Crypto. Yes, I'm still waiting to hear. If you have not been a previous subscriber, I'm still waiting to hear from YouTube on my other channel. But in the meantime, as they say, the show must go on. So I am coming at you through my new channel, Crypto Mama Mia. And I wanted to do this video just as an origin story video. I want you folks to know a little bit about where I'm coming from and what I did in my previous crypto life, I guess you could say. But before I do that, I do want to say that I am not your financial advisor. By no means am I proclaiming to give you any type of financial advice. This is just my opinion. This is just my journey, the continuation of me doing crypto. So thank you, thank you, everyone who um, have come and watched me and subscribed to me. And, you know, I do want to hit certain milestones because I have been blessed by the crypto universe 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 so i do want to in my previous channel i was doing some giveaways and i will continue to do so but i wanted to build up my channel a little bit um as you know or may not know in my previous channel i wanted to give away some btc so i still want to do that again so if you help me hit certain milestones i i may be looking to give away some um, Bitcoin, some of my own Bitcoin, by the way, legitimately, not trying to tell you guys to do anything illegal, just trying to help out the YouTube community, because I do love and appreciate all of you. But here it is, here is my story. Where shall I begin? Well, I have to say my introduction into um, cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin was through certain uh, crypto passive platforms. Um, I'm not too sure if you guys know about USI or anything like that, but that was my actual first experience with Bitcoin. So I started to learn about um, Bitcoin through the program USI Tech, which was maybe, I want to say three years now, three years ago. So then I started looking into other things because I enjoyed how much that was doing while it was still working. So then I got into BitConnect. I know, I don't know if a lot of you are familiar, familiar with BitConnect, but it was one of the biggest uh, crypto scams out there. <laughs> but hey, I gotta say, this is where I learned a very hard lesson, not to get into token platforms and not to get greedy. Because I, I saw the numbers just growing and growing and growing, and I was like, oh my God, I can pay off my house with this. Yep, and before I could even pull out my original capital, it all crashed down in a blaze of not glory. So that was one hard lesson. And then I got into ARB, arbitrage. It's not even there anymore, but I mean, look at it. It's not even worth a penny, not even half a penny. So again, I didn't learn my lesson about token platforms, but after those two, I pretty much told myself I am never, ever, ever ever going into anything that is a token related on purpose i i did do other things and i'll talk about that in um, another video but i did do other things that ended up being tokens but they didn't start out or token platforms but um didn't start out that way and, and when i say tokens i mean like other cryptos like for example if you look at coin stats bitcoin is a cryptocurrency um, and all these other ones, they're just other types of cryptocurrencies. So even with ARB, they had their own crypto, which was called the ARB token. So so any anytime you hear me referencing token platforms, this is what I'm talking about. BitConnect had their own token too. And BitConnect, their token or cryptocurrency actually went up pretty high on the CoinStats um, chart. I believe it even cracked the top 20 at one point in volume and all that kind of stuff and market cap. So, you know, again, you start out looking at things like, oh, okay, this is this token or this crypto is only a penny now, but you hang your hopes of hopefully this token will turn into a dollar or $10, right? That's what, I, that's what when I first started going into crypto or into these types of programs, I hung my hat on that hope, but I have learned through the years that even with Bitcoin, you know, I, I am all for Bitcoin and I hope 
that uh, some of these predictions out there that say Bitcoin will hit 20,000 again. That was the peak of Bitcoin. Um, it will hit 20,000, go up to 100,000. I am hoping that will be the case. But am I going to hang my hopes, all of my hopes and dreams on that? No, <laughs> no, I will not. So what am I doing? This is why I have a strategy when it comes to um, even my Bitcoin. I am holding half and cashing out half because in the meantime, I do need to pay for certain things, right? So there you go. And I do try to hit um, peaks. Like when I see this price go up, then that's when I cash out. Like I have certain uh, selling price points that I like. For example, I like 10K. Anytime I see 10K, I cash that out into either cash or stable tokens. Stable token is something like Tether where the price never really fluctuates. It usually stays around a dollar. It's stable. It's, you know, based off the USD, right? So that's what I do. So this is my, um, again, crypto journey. I'm not trying to tell you to do anything, but I will be talking a lot about um, things like this on my channel and hopefully things that will help you like uh, how to buy Bitcoin, how to sell Bitcoin, where to store your Bitcoin, what can you do with your Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. But this is where I'm coming from. And I hope that I can be somewhat entertaining and somewhat educational for you folks. And I do just love my Bitcoin and my crypto. And that's because I have not seen anything else that has rivaled the price gains. I mean, we can even look at the price graph. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. And Bitcoin um, showed up, I believe, around 2008, nine, around there. So let's take a look at the all-time price chart of it. Oh, okay, not well. Let's they go back as far as 2014. But even that on in uh, the year 2014, look at it. 70, 90, less than 100, 2013, less than $100 for one Bitcoin. And even at the peak, which was like 20,000 or so, here, let's try to see if we can get that. Oh, my mouse is not cooperating. Oh, there we go. Almost 20,000. Can you imagine if you bought three or four, right? <laughs> when it was less than 100. Oh, and then it became 20,000 or even now, like even if you held on to it now, your, your hundred dollars has turned into 9,500 in less than 10 years because this is 2013 and there is nothing that I've seen. And I have other investments. I have stocks, I have um, my IRA and those kinds of things, real estate, et cetera. But I have to say, I haven't seen anything in my whole time of investing where you know you've seen this kinds of gains i mean look at the look at look at the percentage of change it's up almost ten thousand percent it's ridiculous right so this is why i'm very passionate about crypto but you know do your own due diligence i had to like i had to learn the hard way through things like arb and bitconnect it really does matter who you listen to in the space and who you follow but it's always, always imperative that you do your own research. But anyways, that is my origin story. And I will try to come at you every day with a video and show you what I'm doing in crypto because I am Crypto Mama Mia. Again, formerly known as a middle aged mom doing crypto, but now known as Crypto Mama Mia. So anyways, thank you again, everyone, for stopping by checking out my channel, checking out my videos. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. I'm going to try to hit those milestones again. I'm going to try to get my 100 subs. We're going to do this. Um, you know, please share. If we do get to 100, maybe I'll do a little giveaway, um, probably in crypto, because I do love crypto. That's the other thing, too. You can so easily give someone crypto through the crypto universe, through YouTube land, or any other type of internet um, connection. And it's just so simple. But anyways, if you help me get hit those milestones or get to my hundred subs, get to my thousand subs, I will be there trying to help you guys out, especially now in these hard economic times. But help me help you. Let's all help each other out, right? But anyways, thank you again. And all I ask for is I don't ask for any Bitcoin or anything like that. I just want you to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. 
but I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're staying safe and staying healthy in these crazy times. And I will see you at my next video. Adios.